Welcome back to Mrs O'Gram's Maths. Uh, this is a video to get you started on bivariate data, which is a level three statistics internal and the achievement standard number is 91581. Most people would refer to it as 3.9 bivariate data. So we'll start with a simple look of what bivariate actually means. And what if we split that word up, we can see that it's split into by meaning two and vary it for variables. So we're looking for whether there is a relationship between two possible variables in our data set. Now the data set that I've chosen to use for this video is the diamonds data set, which can be found in NZ Grapher. And if you haven't used that program before, just Google NZ Grapher and you'll find it. I'll show you what it looks like. It's um, here, NZ Grapher. Now, the diamond data set is already preloaded in here. I think it was originally sourced from New Zealand Statistics and it's got some um, information on diamonds. So, if we just switch back to here, I've just taken a little sample of what that looks like to show you that um, we've got little snapshot of the table of data here um, and some details about the variables that have gone into that table. So you can just pause the video and take a minute to understand what's there and then we'll carry on. So once you're given the data set, you need to think about what it is that you'd like to investigate within that data. So you need to pick two variables to investigate whether there's a relationship. Now when choosing this, you need to carefully think about what the purpose of your investigation might be. We're going to follow the PPDAC cycle to complete our project, starting with problem. And under the problem, we need to think, what is my purpose? So asking yourself these questions might help you to define your purpose and decide on the variables. So who would find this useful? What might they want to know about it? And finally, what research is out there already? It's important to know that for um, this level three internal, if you want anything more than achieved, you need to include research about what it is that you're looking into. And in the problem section, that means researching the context um, and the purpose uh, to be able to get merit or higher. So for this one, I'm going to investigate carrot and price. Now, carrot was defined as the size of the diamond in, in weight. Uh, so one carat is 0.2 grams and the price is in US dollars. Now, who might find this useful? This could be useful to um, diamond retailers or perhaps valuers or possibly just somebody looking into buying a diamond to figure out um, what sort of price they're looking at dependent on the weight of that diamond. Uh, so they might want to know what that relationship is between carrot and price and I would go and research if there is anything out there already to suggest that there is a relationship between the two and what that might be. So your problem question might look something like this. I wonder if there is a relationship between the carrot of a diamond and its price and what that relationship might be. Um, you should say more than just I wonder if there is a relationship. You should say that you're also going to investigate that relationship so it's not just a yes no question. And then you would add in, this would be useful to know if, and talk about who might find this useful, and some research that you might have found um, and what it suggests about the answer to your problem question. Now, just one more thing before we wrap up this um, little segment of the video, which is that when you're choosing what to, to investigate, the variable that's called your response variable, which we'll go on to a little bit more in the next video. So in this case, the response variable is the price. And this response variable must be continuous. So before you carry on with your project, check that that response variable is a continuous variable. I'll explain a little bit more of that in the next video.